Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Manchu. Nice. Nomad Frontier. Powerful hordes on the frontier have been a constant threat to the Empire of China throughout history. With the rise of yet another powerful horde on the frontier, our people are starting to doubt that they will be able to protect them. An emperor that does not keep the hordes in control truly possess the mandate of heaven, only time will tell. So they lose 2 stability and 20 mandate. And now they're losing it at the rate of 0.2 per month. So I'm going to start paying our forces. And we don't need to root up out as much corruption. And that's really nice. So let's just take a brief gander at what's going on with our nation. We have a couple of tributaries. We're allied to Persian Ottomans. We do have a border with each other. When they get to us, they would only have to really get through a few countries. Preferably these, because Timurids are going to be hostile. Okay, and we're trying to get two of the achievements. Qing of China, where we have to become the Emperor of China and be Qing. And then these banners need a saga. We have to have a hundred regiments as banners raised at the same time. And right now, we have nowhere near that. Our entire army is only 43,000. So we'd have to culturally convert a bunch more stuff to Manchu and then raise some banners. Now let's do a quick look over here on the timeline. On fast speed, we started as Zhengzhou. And of course, we blobbed like mad, formed Manchu. Blobbed some more. Beat up Korea. Or pushed west. Who's back? It, uh, made Kazakh as our subject and then fed them back their cores. Turned on Timurids and fed them back the rest of Kazakh's cores. And now we're standing up to Ming. So we're paying our troops, and I'm going to start moving them over to the border. I'd rather that they attack us than us attack them, because then our allies will come in, presumably. But the same principle stands, the longer they wait, the worse quality of their troops are going to be. Because as this mandate tanks, the amount of shock and fire damage they receive will go up. That's 1511. There's still been no colonialism. So that's great. We have no tech penalties right now. Our economy is suffering a little. We have about 1,000 in debt. But we're now extracting tribute from people, and we can even get some from Uzbek. We demand some additional gifts from these guys. But rather that they prosper for now and continue paying us the tribute. So we can invade some people and so on. But I would just encourage Ming. Okay. That well, looks like we're in a fight. So let's go and beat up on Yarkand. We still, for now, have free war taxes. Let's hold these guys back for a month. So we don't want too much attrition. Okay, possible Manchu banners plus 25%, that would be great. Ming has gone into their golden era. I don't like that at all. Uh, if we got at one province in Europe, 
we would be able to go into our own golden area. So we might actually want to invade Sympathy. I'm just not sure who that would be. I wouldn't be surprised if Ming tries attacking us while we're in this war. I don't think that would work out for them. Okay, Kashmir wants this. We'll let them have it. We'll just stay here and get the loot. Actually, we can spread out. Because I don't want attrition. Free manpower, I like it. And we could raise a host. Let's do it. I definitely want to support them again, but that's going to take four years. Sure, Kashmir, you can have that. But we want to mark some things as being of vital interest to us as well. Okay, it looks like we can't. Let's get down here. Everything boarding you, you can have. Lost the statesman. That's unfortunate because he increased the chance that our allies would come to our defense. Let's see if we can get a new statesman for that very reason. We cannot. We'll probably get a military advisor uh, when the war starts. You know what? You guys can have anything that you can take. Let's head up here, we should have a general to give. Because the stronger they get, the more tribute they'll deliver to us. And I think they'll like us quite a bit since we defended them. Yeah, we'll open that back up in a second while we, in the meantime, give this to Kashmir. Move these guys up here. Oh, they actually captured the fort. Can't quite pay that loan off yet. But if they extract money on the peace deal, we'll probably get a significant portion of it. Okay, yeah, we got 125 of the 145. So we're going to get back over here. And we'll pay off a loan. Not losing as much because they got some prosperity and their stability went back up. Yeah, I think the only change was their stability. But still ticking downward. 
And now the Age of Reformation is upon us. And that will cause me some problems. With army composition, for instance. I'm going to have to get some more infantry. See how many more troops we can get. We can get three. So, one per army. Okay. Well, this is just one province, so we get it. The others, we have to have all four to get it. Okay, that's not enough. So I split this guy up again. Get these horses down here. Yeah, we need some more infantry. Okay, we get a claim on the entire East Gansu M area. Hang on, wait till we get this military tech 10. Because it gives us better cavalry. Yeah, let's get some money. So we're going to have to support the tribes soon. Two years. Okay, why don't we develop a little bit? I want our force limit to go up. They can get more upset with us if they wish. Yeah, I don't like the fact that we don't have enough infantry. But as our cavalry dies, we'll replace it. We'll consolidate them and so they get a little bit more. Uh, we've got the Arcandy Separatists. How many can we expect? 16k. Let's send these two guys over here to help put them down. And then when some of the horses die, we'll get new infantry. Hey, their man is down to 40. I don't know how long that modifier lasts. I think until they get a truce with us. Okay, I think they're up here. Where we can expect. Okay, let's get this tolerance of heathens. Or sorry, heretics. And now they should be moving downward. Kind of with that next idea. Okay, who for us are heretics? Okay, basically. 
everyone who's not Kashmir what do you guys think you're doing let's send two armies Okay, why don't we stop them here, merge them together, and give them this good general. We'll just go straight for their capital. This game, I'm going to have these guys fall back to our capital. Mandate has fallen to 38. Let's keep an eye on our time. 16 minutes. Okay, so we are halfway done with this video. Yeah, this was a really dumb move by Tibet. Uh, Kashmir, you can have that. Oh, uh, war taxes. I'm not going to collect war taxes because they're no longer free. I'm with this military tech. I don't necessarily want it ahead of time. I'm going to bank the points and buy it as soon as we can get it at no additional cost. Because it's a fairly important one. It's got improved flanking and it has those step raters. With the tribes, keep this well above 60 so that we get that reduction to our cavalry cost. Yeah, you can run around here being dumb. You can do that all you wish. Eh, he's not great. But we'll keep him for now, in case somebody of our generals dies. Okay, convert to another nation. I guess we could have done that to Kazakh, but... That time is pretty much passed. We can actually integrate Kazakh into our country as soon as we're at peace. That would make sense. But they're humanists, they're not much of a problem any longer. Wrecked. Well, 10% ahead of time. I want this reduced separatism so that we also get our eight banners. Green Standard Army. Yeah, we don't need that. But if things start going badly for us, we could do that. So the Green Standard Army is this one. No. Lost our air.
And why don't we straighten our government just once, keep this at 94. Because we have enough points to get our military deck up at the moment's notice anyway. And we don't lose any guys there. Oh, Timurids. Do you really think you're up for it? They might as well just invade Timurids now. If a, yeah, we still do have a truce with them until next year, uh, about four months from now. I mean, it might encourage Ming to attack, but that would probably not end well for them. So let's start integrating. Let's call that guy back. Let's wait a couple months for this army to start moving. Got that entire area. Yeah, I want some more land so that we can increase our force on that. Okay, step raiders. Yeah, I like the shock. Yeah, our economy isn't doing great at the moment because we have so many troops. But we're not losing that much. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll do that 10% taxes because we're going to get Horde Unity when we invade them anyway. And I'm wondering we start culturally converting some people. Yeah, there's some provinces we can't do it in yet, but we will in time. It would be smart to start paying their forts. Okay, so let's take these guys and consolidate them down. Now we can make another two units. Of infantry, we'll make them over there because we're going to send our armies back east eventually anyway. And next month we'll launch this war. Maybe before then if we see that they start to pay those if that fort. Okay, who's your ally? Allies Crimea, it's not going to protect you. We are going to go for Bukhara. We can call him Persia. How many favors do we have with Persia? Yeah, let's call him Persia. over there to row as quickly as possible. They'll get a little bit of a garrison. But it's not going to be much. And I think we will raise war taxes. 
I want this next idea. Nice. Really shouldn't do this. Because I'll get both of their armies together here. But we are mighty, apparently. Get more banners. Yeah, we'll see this out. We gotta get some more guys over here anyway. And let's consolidate down some of these. Where does that leave us? We can get four more units. Yeah, let's do it. Tim Red Surf. <laughs> like two tech levels behind us. Military tech, yeah. Okay, Persia, do you have any cores for there? You do. So we'll get those back for you. And this piece deal. And then we'll just swap them up their money and take everything that we can take. I wouldn't be opposed to creating an Afghani vassal down here, too. Lost General, sadly, it's this one. So why don't we pull back one banner cavalry? Give him a different general and send him back in. Let's check our time. We're at 27 minutes, so let's stop here.